am Bonaventure Okere uh, from Nigeria. I'm the director for the Nigeria Center for Basic Space Science and Astronomy, as well as IAOA, the Regional Office of Astronomy for West African Region Coordinator. I'm the coordinator for West Africa. I major in uh, uh, lit stars, precisely plus AGB star. That's my field of study for my PhD. My inspiration is drawn uh, from the many questions we have always received from uh, stakeholders in the country here. Each time we talk about astronomy and we make an uh, effort to secure funds to take care of astronomy projects, we discover that government will ask us, what will astronomy bring to us? What, what is astronomy going to bring to the table? Uh, can it give us food? What can it give us? So from there, we have really been thinking, what actually can astronomy do for the people, for the nations? Apart from the core conceptual researches we do as professionals, what else can we do? The best, we now decided that, okay, the best way will be to educate both the policymakers, the stakeholders on what astronomy is all about, and then educate the masses too on about, uh, about astronomy. Then when eventually, I do not discuss about 2010, 2011, the idea of the OAD came up. Well, when Kevin wrote me about it, it was so exciting, but the question was that, what does astronomy for development really entail to people? Uh, are we developing astronomy or developing the economy or technology of the nation? But then we, the next, they got it right, the OAD got it right, that yes, we can use astronomy to stimulate development in every area of life, culture, technology, other areas of science, arts, and name it. And it clicked that, yes, we can use astronomy to stimulate development. Hence, the astronomy for development, when it was formed, clicked to our own thinking, how we can use astronomy to stimulate development in other areas. And I won't lie to you, it has been yielding first, even though slow, but attention is being drawn to what astronomy can do to our country and to our region as well. So I think that really what's actually got me interested in that. I, it, it really aligned with my, my philosophy, my way of thinking, how can we make this simple for everybody to really understand that astronomy is not about stars, 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 but you can use astronomy to do a lot of other things more than observing the stars. The method of observing the stars can be used to stimulate development in other areas of life, in agriculture, in food uh, abundance of food, in developing human capacity, now, many people are using astronomy now to know that big data can be of use to the nation, to every, to the industry, and that's all about astronomy. Now, people are picking a lot of interest in astronomy now, and it's really been helping us. A good number of people in West Africa, in my country, are really picking interest and studying astronomy to the postgraduate level. I think that's uh, uh, what really inspires me about this, and I love it all. Apart from the projects we have been doing through OAD, that have been actually been sparing the masses here in Nigeria, uh, going to the, uh, they call it to the IDP camps and the outreach programs we are doing. One of the things that excited me most was the day we had a meeting in Keta. I may not remember the precise month and year, but I remember uh, we had a meeting in Cape Town. Yeah, it was in Cape Town. The day the Assumption for Development was properly and critically defined that day made my day. And I remember that the South African Minister of Science Technology then, uh, Pando, was there at that meeting. And it was really interesting. And I saw the excitement in everybody's mind that really everybody seemed to understand what a way for development means. That understanding was what made my day anytime, any day. And uh, the drive from the OAD team and the way they were able to actually define this to make meaning to both the layman and the professional really excited me. Well, one event I cannot forget, it was really, really interesting. It was quite interesting. And since then, it, the boss are moving, the boss are already moving without, with non-stop, nobody can stop because it's, it's, it, it is the cord on what astronomy is for the society. It really was interesting. I, think, I remember we signed the, the, the launch in that all of us put our signatures down. It was a very interesting day for me. And the, the way Pando spoke about astronomy that they made me so I thought I thought she was a professional astronomer. The way she understood <laughs> what it's all about and understood what the OED was trying to communicate really marveled me. 
I remember approaching her and asking her, why is it that ministers of science in other African countries don't understand as strongly as you understood it? And I remember what she answered me that day. She said, you're from Nigeria. I said, yeah, she said, the problem with your own country is that the minister don't stay long. By the time they stay one or two years, they'll change them. Before they understand what they're supposed to do, I'm already changed. So we don't understand what is going on. And I know she said the truth. So I remember that this was a very interesting day for me. Uh, another memory I can remember, I can recall, was a day uh, you came to be part of the opening ceremony of 2013 Wasia program. Yeah, uh, I remember it was very memorable to me that the director of OAD was in Nigeria to commission to, to start the West African International Summer School for Young Astronomers, a special school. Uh, that uh, its main purpose is to build critical mass of astronomers in West Africa. Uh, that day was so unique too, unique in the sense that we never knew that up now that school be sustained. And OAD have been playing a major role in sustaining that program. And many African students are keen into that program because of the methods used for teaching uh, students and teachers. And that's the query based method, which makes the teaching and learning very, very easy for students to grasp. And the many of the teachers that participate in that program are learning to apply, I mean, to apply uh, that method in their teaching in their normal classroom uh, work. And they'll be giving testimonies of effectiveness of that method they learn through WASEA, which is NAPASI, which is what we want to send to other African countries. The day we started that program in 2013, and the director of OAD was there, uh, made my day because he showed they were ready to support us in addressing the education development as we can see it in one of the SDG goals. And we have been making effort to see that we try to achieve points on that. And also now it's moving to achieve gender balance as many female students and teachers and many and the male teacher can pass attending that program. So it's really interesting to me. And uh, the fact that that program has uh, developed some students are actually doing their PhD in astronomy in foreign countries through the alumni contact they are using now is making my day too. I feel it's so much a memorable thing that OAD is doing for us and I remember it very, very well. The OAD with its activities and projects that been funding has allayed my fears of development of both astronomy and the development in nations. Uh, what I mean by that is this. I remember it had been so difficult for us to encourage people to pick interest in astronomy. Even when we were talking about using astronomy to develop, uh, stimulate development, we also are developing astronomy as well. Now, it's like a, a non-stop uh, motion. Uh, through the activity of OAD, we are reaching to so many people that couldn't have been reached. And you know that the hope to achieve critical mass of astronomers in Africa, Africans, I mean, I mean by Africans, and I mean indigenous Africans, is really bright. I can see it happening. I can see the efforts in encouraging uh, the low in other areas. It, without OAD, it wouldn't have a fast working by now. A fast working now is courtesy of OAD. And a lot of Africans are picking interest, uh, reaching out. That shows that we have future. AFAS is playing a role in SKA. It shows that we have future. AFAS, I mean, OAD is playing a role in SKA, playing a role in MIACA, playing a role in development of astronomy instrument development in Africa. Many African countries have instruments now, both for outreach and for education now, because of AFAS. A lot of countries in Africa are doing uh, uh, astronomy in the bus, moving around, carrying out astronomy messages, which is stimulating interest in STEM. And that is quite encouraging. That means that we have future. It means that if a fast, if OAD continues for a long time to come, I mean, we'll have what we need in astronomy in terms of human capital development and infrastructure development. OAD is helping so much in other areas, linking up all countries in Africa, linking African countries to the counterparts in Europe, in America. And many students are benefiting from this. Teachers are benefiting from this. And that shows that the future is really bright for Africa when it comes to having that human capital development 
in astronomy in other areas of science, especially computer science, big data computing, if not for OAD, many of this will not work. And I think OAD plays a major role in the data project, and that's why it is happening. Imagine what could have been development point in Africa to handle big data astronomy that have an SK and MIA card, and then we don't have the participating. So if not for OAD, many of us wouldn't have even known that this is actually exists. So with that, I know that if OAD continues more of the work they're doing, or I continue the work that didn't do OAD. I believe that Africa will have a good, will give a good account of themselves. And when it comes to uh, human capacity building, infrastructure development, and name it, we are so helpful. And I see that hope. I see that I look beyond the cloud and I see that the future is bright for African astronomers, scientists, engineers, and computer scientists, courts OAD, and the encouragement, the way they are actually linking up, encouraging collaborations, anywhere there's any effort, he calls all the region say, wow, can you reach these people and see what you can do with them, together with them? And it has been really been working. And what I can say the summary is that the future is here with OAD. The future is bright. And that's all for African astronomers. Thank you for this. My message to my African colleagues is this. Let us wake up more. Let us not allow the fire encountered by OED to go off. Let us learn to develop, what I mean, successors. Many of us have been at the forefront for so many years and are not ready to build people that will replace us. Let us look beyond what I would think can be the benef personal benefit we have to gain from whatever we are doing for astronomy development or using astronomy course or create development. Let us rise up and uh, realize that the future is in the hands of Africa. Europe cannot be here for us forever. America cannot be here with us forever. They are helping us develop the instruments for us in Africa. It is left for us to make good use of this. Many of us in Africa are depending so much on thinking of what we can benefit from projects and whatever we are doing. And we need to actually learn to work together. Many of us in Africa are not working together. We want others to do the work where we sit down and claim we are there. Let us wake up, let us rise up and know that we have to take over. We have to take land from them. We have to take the bull by the hands, make sacrifices, call our leader, our country, our government together and tell them, look, this is for Africa. Africa must move. If you call a fast meeting, few of us attend. Many of us attend meeting because we want to be paid for attending meetings. We want to pay for every little thing we do. Who will pay us? Why would they get the money to pay us? We need to wake up. We need to see what we can do to make a difference and how to rise up, support the efforts of the Europeans in Africa, support the efforts of other Africans that are actually coming up and let the younger ones pick up and stop looking at personal gain we need to make from whatever we are doing and think of African and Africans alone. Thank you. That's my message for my colleagues in Africa. Well, I don't think I have any thought, but I just meant to say this or maybe make this request. Whatever IAU can do to keep OED going, whatever those funded OED can do to sustain it, they should not be tired of funding OED. OED means a lot to Africans. I don't know about other regions. OED is doing a lot for Africans. Whatever they can do, to get it done and sustain it, they should do it. I know most of African countries find it difficult to bring up money to sustain things like this. I want to hear, appreciate the South African government. I want to hear, appreciate the OAD team. I want to appreciate the IAU for all their considerations. For the first time, the IAU president moved around Africa to see what we are doing. And she went back impressed. For the first time, Africa is hosting the world I I astronomy community. I want to say, for all those doing this work, let them not be tired. They may not get the rewards. They may not get the financial benefits, but they're building human capital that will remember them in future. So keep working and don't get tired. We'll get there together. Thank you, Kevin.